welcome to a Let's Play of Tunic. This is JBRAM2002. This game is fantastic. If you've never seen this game, there are a couple of things I'd like you to know. First of all, if you want to have a blind experience, and I greatly suggest that you do so, I recommend you buy this game. It's just straight up. 10 out of 10 game. It, uh, I think it got Game of the Year when it came out. If it wasn't Game of the Year, it would have been like Indie Game of the Year or something. It was fantastic. Second of all, if you don't want to buy the game, I have a friend, FKing56, who did a run-through himself where he played it blind. I watched that. It was a fantastic Let's Play. I enjoyed it immensely. I even helped to contribute to it towards the end. And if you want to have a more blind experience where you don't know what's going on, the runner doesn't know what's going on, then I recommend you go check out his Let's Play, which I'll link down below. That said, I know a little bit about this game. Now you can see the screen has a continue on it instead of just the blank new game screen that you normally would expect. And that's because I, in my excitement, after receiving this game as a gift from said DuffKing56, thank you so much, by the way, I was so excited to play this for you guys that I recorded three hours of content without checking my audio balance and recording it all on the same audio track so I couldn't separate it out and rebalance it. I'm a noob. Anyways, that said, I'm going to start over. Um, I'm going to attempt to play this using only the information the game has presented to me uh, without metagaming as much as physically possible. But I have watched an entire playthrough of this game. I have seen speedruns of this game. I know most of the tips and tricks. Um, and I'm just going to play a normal game, a normal experience, up until a certain important story point. At which point I'll start actually talking about things. That said, let's hit this new game button. We're just a little fox. Well, this, this feels a lot like a kind of Legend of Zelda-esque game. I'm just hitting all the buttons that I've got. Obviously, we've got a roll here. Um, this game starts out very simply, as you can see. Oh, we can't push it over. Oh, no. With one of the cutest main characters ever. Look at him. He's just a little fox. And there's a big old glowing pad here. I wonder what it does. Probably something important. There's a shiny down there. That looks important too. And a mailbox. What does it do? There we go. Well. Well. I don't know about you. But that looks like complete gibberish to me. What's inside this room? Oh, I saw something up in the top there. It's a treasure chest, and inside we get a... A stick. LB. Well. XYB. Ooh. We can add this to a button up there. Which makes me think, yeah, if I hit that button, I'm a swinging away. I didn't actually want to leave. Got a little little ambitious there, a little overzealous. Anyways, let's smack these pots. Legend of Zelda style. They give us diamonds. I think I'm gonna call these bits. I'm not entirely sure what they are. Not exactly coins. Not exactly gold. Kind of more orangish. Well, this is a broken bridge. Not gonna get over that anytime soon. 
let's take a look around. So this game is very kind of calm, explory, just enjoy your time. So uh, that's how I'm going to take it. Can't get any further this way. So I'm going to kind of go through this relatively slow. Um, not in any hurry. I'm sure my commentary isn't going to be super crazy, uh, amazing in-depth at the beginning, at least. There's a sign here. Hero's Grave. Sword. Okay. Well, this looks to be the only thing we can do. And I can't get in. So we have we better head that way. LT. Oh, we have a target. That is super helpful. Let's see how often I forget to do that. Spoilers, often. Okay. There's more more of these hedges. There's a treasure chest down there I can't get to. More enemies. Oh, this guy's bigger. Oh no, he hit. Alright. Well, I just got hit, so I'm noticing a couple of things right away. We have a sign here. Town. With green text? I wonder what the green text says. I'm noticing a couple of things right away. First of all, down that corner, we have a pink bar and a green bar. Um, green bar kind of goes down to like one third full whenever I dodge. Makes me think it's some sort of stamina meter. The pink bar went down when I took that big hit, so that makes me think it's a health bar. Seems pretty obvious to me. And, uh, let's keep rolling. Oh, and it starts blinking when it runs out. I wonder what that means. Oh? The fox statue. That's cute. I was going to say this looks like a save point of some sort, but it didn't give me an option to save my game or what kind of slot I want to save it in or anything like that. So, I'm not sure. Alright. Big old door. That probably means something. Let us in. Hmm. Well... That's interesting. Is this what's inside that door? Looks like some sort of dream state. Reminds me of, uh... You know in the, the Tears of the Kingdom Legend of Zelda game? Where you've got this kind of alabaster um, stonework on the Sky Islands at the beginning? Kind of what it reminds me of. Oh. I can still run out of stamina even though my bar isn't showing. <laughs> um, the door isn't letting me through. Okay. Oh, I see these blue lines here. These, this has to mean something, right? Hey. Okay. Wow. My controller's vibrating like crazy, too. Ooh. Ooh. That animation is slick. I like that. I, I just love the art style of this game. You've got the cutesy animals with a kind of uh, low-poly design to them. And the vibrant colors. Look, I'm walking on air. We... Oh. What is this? Is that... Is that another fox? Is that... Is that the person in the statues? Hello? Are you trapped? Uh, 
Can I help you somehow? Ooh. Definitely trap. Oh, she looks scared too. Uh oh. That looks menacing. Well then. Sealed forever. Can I, can I open the door by bonking it? No. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh... She looked an awful lot like this statue, I think. Call her Fox Mom. Oh, look, there's a bunch of more bushes down here. Can't get through here, though. We'll have to come back to that. Oh, there's a key. Alright, we got a key. That was easy. Let's keep looking in this direction. I see a plank over there of some sort sticking up. I bet if I can get around the other side, I can kick that down. Maybe make a shortcut. Next to another one of those shinies. And... Ah, there's a big guy down there guarding another shiny. I don't know if I... Well, I was going to say, I don't know if I want to go down there, but I don't think I can. Anyways, I can't get through these things. Alright. Well, let's head back and use this key. I think that's the, uh, the only thing we can do right now. Hello. Ow. I remember too late to use my uh, target. There we are. Boom. I'm so good at this game. Woohoo! Alright, so uh, I just I just gotta say, I am horrible at this game, especially the combat of this game. I am just not very good. Um, I will fail. I will die. I will try not to die, but uh, we'll see how long that lasts me. Um, you know, we probably have to say yes to get through this door. All right. Oh, we get a shiny right here. And I roll right through it. Yeah, okay. Beginning your adventure. Um, I can't read that. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. Sealed forever behind the door. So the power to defy death is behind that door. Interesting. Bringing the East Belt. That guy... <laughs> that guy reminds me of... Uh, you know that big guy from Lilo and Stitch? What's his name? Captain Gantu or something like that? That's what he reminds me of. Maybe I'll put a picture up on screen. Bringing the East Belt. East Forest. Hero's Grave. Sword. Dot, dot, dot. Guard Captain. Exclamation point. Okay. Bringing the West Belt. Old House. For the key, flooded well, E29, dark tomb. It's like there's a light here. West Garden, P27. And then we've got a picture of our fox friend and page 28. Uh, the P has to stand for page. I don't know what else it would stand for. Oh, there's more. The game screen. Fox. Um, yeah, that's that's us. Uh, ready to equipment. Oh, there's um, three things. There's a sword there. A uh, yellow wandy thing. A bluish crystal thing. Page 17. Magic potion. Focus preview. We were telling us how to do that earlier. Uh, the yellow pad. Page 41. Prize treasure. No page on that. Health points. Stamina points. Magic points. Important. Stamina points, zero SP. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Alright. Oh. I got a page. Let's take a look around. Someone... Oh. 
me and not hitting the target button. Someone already opened the chest. That is unfair. Um, that was probably supposed to have my sword in it. Maybe it had my shield in it. Don't you know it's dangerous to go alone? What else have we got? Oh, I got this thing. Monument sort of looks like a windmill or something. Oh. Well, that's a load of text. Although, let's take a look at this for a second. We've seen a lot of this text, and I don't really want to dig too deep into it at this point, but let's, let's just briefly look at this. I am noticing that a couple of these shapes kind of repeat. So the top left one, the first one in the first row, it looks sort of like a fox shape, right? It's got kind of two pointed ears and the, the face. It looks the same as the three last ones of the next three rows. The, the last one of the next three rows there. That's got to be the same shape, right? So there's some sort of repeated pattern in here. The second one looks like the only one with a circle underneath it. Looks like there's three, one in each row there. Next one has a little lightning bolt under it. Again, it looks like there's one in each row. Looks like it's the third, second, third, second position. And then this last one with a kind of broken halo thing over top. It looks like that's the first one in the last three rows. So there are four symbols and they are repeated four times. Wonder what it means. I'm sure it won't be important. Still can't get through these. I can get through here. What is this? East Forest. We'll, we'll come back to that. That was one of the things we needed to look at at our, uh, at our page, right? East Forest is the first thing, ringing the East Bell. So that's obviously our, our next goal, right? So, let's take out these guys first, real quick. We All the enemies are so cute in this, too. It almost makes you feel bad for now. Well, now that they hit me, I don't feel bad anymore. It almost makes you feel bad for hitting them. They're so cute. 25. We have 84 now. Let's look at this screen real quick. We got a weird hexagon thing in the middle. That sort of looks like the shape that was on that door. So I'm sure that's going to be important, right? Uh, we have 84 bits. We have zero out of three shells. Um, down at the bottom... Oh, I just moved my mouse. There's this rectangle that's empty here. Down at the bottom, we have a stick that I can equip. Can I do anything with this? Hitting my buttons. Doesn't look like I can. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Um, we just came from that way, so... Man, I, I get tired so easily. This, uh, this running around thing is not working so well. Okay. Let's take on these guys. Come at me. Easy fights. It's nice that I can swing forever. Hey, look, another page. Sure. Ah, uh, good. We have controls. So, I tried on um, the previous one trying to play this with a uh, keyboard. And controls are not super good on the keyboard. A lot better on controller. I was worried that my controller wouldn't work because my triggers tend to stick a little bit. But uh, I haven't seen that problem so far. LT for targeting. Um, something page 14. LB something. I'm sure that'll be important. Uh, LS. Left stick. Does, uh, oh, let's see. Is pressing it do anything? Uh, it's probably just saying it, it lets me move. Uh, wrong button. Um, A is page 13, which is the next page. We'll get to that in a second. XYB for sword. Uh, RB for, I assume that's a health potion, page 17. RT for shield. So we'll definitely get a, a shield eventually, it says. A. Um, 
A, dodge, dodge and hold. Oh, I can hit A to zoom in on this. That's cool. Maybe I'll do that when I need to talk about things in specific. Um, so I'm guessing this is talking about interacting with stuff, like seeing the sign, uh, the dodge. I don't know what this is, page 24. And then A and hold. So let's take a look at this. A and hold. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can run. Yeah, that's a huge speed increase. Let's do that. Okay. Guess we gotta run around everywhere. Our music cut out. Kind of sad. Can't get through here. I'm sure it'll be back soon. This game is good at one thing. It's its music. It's good at a lot of things, by the way. Oh, that looked like something in that kind of vision that we had. That was the thing we pressed A to, and it, it did the little shiny thing, and then it opened the door. So maybe we got to do that. This is like a stake in the ground. Maybe maybe that'll be a shortcut later. Here's Fox Mom. She must be important. I wonder why she's locked up. Interesting. Maybe she got stuck. Oh, there's an enemy. Ha ha ha. A bowl and a candle. Interesting. Put on down. Oh, okay. That, that was not nice. That was a nasty trick. 